Hey, Sebastian for the Metal Gods Meltdown, and today I am joined by Timmy Rudd from the New Roses. It's great to be chatting to you this evening. How pleased are you with the media responses so far to Sweet Poison? It's amazing, you know. The this time it was really um, special because due to all these covid regulations and everything we were just able to release the record on the day we started touring it so um you can see now as we uh, as the dates are getting further and further people are you know um way more into the to the record and now everybody knows the new stuff and everybody really enjoys hearing the new material so for us you know um it was it was really exciting because we didn't get a first response to uh, to the material so we just released the record and the next day we we went out on stage and played it and uh so it was really exciting how people would react and uh, it's a, it's amazing so far brilliant in an ideal world the usual suspects would be riding high in the mainstream charts do you actually listen to mainstream these days it's so soulless and plastic you know whatever makes people happy uh, they should listen to and uh, I listen to my stuff, and I usually don't find it in, on the mainstream radio, so I listen to my own sources. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only reason I ask is where I work, they have, like, mainstream radio, and it does my head in. So... <laughs> <laughs> a lot that, that, uh, that I like on mainstream radio, yeah, that's right. The album cover would be a cool tattoo. Do you plan to get that as one? I uh, swore to myself when I was a teenager that I would never get a tattoo of my own band logos or my own covers. So, but I've seen uh, a couple of them already on uh, in our audience. Yeah, that's sweet. So you're out on tour at the moment. What can we expect from you guys live? Oh man, we we have so much fun being back on stage. You know, uh, it's like two years of energy. Uh, you know, building up, releasing, uh, unleashing uh, on stage. So we're definitely like bringing it all uh, that we have. And but we didn't change a thing um, to our um, you know foundation of our show. So there's no uh, confettis or pyros or or videos or whatever. It's just you know lights on and a authentic rock and roll band kicking your ass. You know, brilliant. Um- how was it then opening for Kiss? That was to be an amazing. Yeah, it was, man. Um, it was really amazing in in, in several uh, ways, you know. Um, it, it was amazing to see them every night. It was amazing to play in front of their audience and and trying to uh, convince them from uh, with our music, you know. Yeah. Um, and it was amazing uh, to to you know, learn so much in the process of how this show is, is built backstage, you know, behind the curtain and to see how everything works like a clockwork and, 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 uh, to, to, we got so much insight, so much information, uh, to, to how, how, you know, how to improve our, our touring system and all these things. So, uh, it was, like I said, in different ways, in many ways, it was really amazing. So did you get to hang out much with Gene and Paul? They don't hang out a lot, you know. Uh, they have to wear these super uh, com- uncomfortable, I guess, costumes. They look very uncomfortable. And so they show up, uh, like, right before the show and they leave right after. But uh, we, we, you know, we got some nice compliments and, and they, let us, they let us know that they would, uh, you know, that they heard our shows and that they're really happy that we're on tour with them. So that was really nice. Brilliant. The album's totally kick-ass. So will you be releasing any more singles? So, um, yeah, we released you, The Usual Suspects at first, uh, which which was definitely a good thing to do because it was like the main poster for the whole record, you know, and uh, re- really representative. So then we released, um, I guess at the moment, out is uh, First Time for Everything, mm-hmm. which is a very cool uh, rock, you know, good mood, light-footed rock song, which makes you want to dance a little, and we see that a lot during our shows now. And we're going to release a couple of more, yeah. Could form a super group with you at the front. <laughs> Who would you have with you? That would mean I'm, 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 
that I, I that I'm qualified to be in a super group, you know. I don't. So I'm I'm not really a super group guy. I don't I don't uh, I, you know it's it's about the chemistry between the members and um, I don't think it it's 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 enough to just put super talented people together on the stage, you know that always have a high uh, quality level. But uh, if it if it really touches you and your heart and you know I've seen a lot of bands that uh, every every everybody by themselves is not really super good, you know, but together they create real magic. And um, that's what I'm fascinated by. So I'm not really interested in that concept of being in a super group, but there's of course many people that I would like, love to share, share the stage with, uh, such as Paul Rogers. I would love to sing a duet with him. Uh, he's a, one of my biggest influences and um, we love the stones. We love, uh, Leonard Skinner so much and you know the Black Crows just on tour again I saw I just saw them and I would uh, uh, you know see them from the audience and would think like yeah I would definitely come up there and share the stage with them for a song or two so yeah stuff like that maybe that's brilliant because you are totally a live band yeah so what would you say has been your best experience so far live you know, it's not a single show or whatever, but the big experience, the overall experience, being able as a German band from a very small town area uh, called the Rheingau, where we're only like world famous wine is made, not no rock and roll bands ever made it out there. Um, it's it's the overall experience to to start in your you know in your house bar playing in garages and, and birthday parties and, and you know sc school jams and stuff like that and then you play all over your you know region and then you play all over your country and then all of a sudden you you get invited to to england and and uh, all over europe and then you play in america and all these things so the big experience or the overall great experiences to to uh be able to get all this stuff you know to see uh, just like Rockfest Barcelona this year. That was crazy, man, you know? Played with so many great bands, Judas Priest, Megadeth, Kiss. Uh, so good, man, and we're part of this thing, you know? Yeah. And um, we were on the Kiss cruise. We played in Afghanistan uh, to, for, for, for the troops of Resolute Support. And um, we've been on tour with the Scorpions, ZZ Top. We've played with Molly Hatchet, Blackfoot, you know, uh, Blackstone Cherry, Foreigner. Played festivals with Aerosmith. So all these things, you know, as a little German band, you know, I, I had those patches on my, you know, my vest, you know, and I uh, got to play with all these bands. And um, that's the, you know, you can't, if, you know, when you hear that, you understand why I can't pick one, right? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. amazing. That's an amazing experience for you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so can you tell me why we should check out Sweet Poison? Why we call it Sweet Poison? No, why should we check it out? Oh, why you should check it out? Because I guess you like rock and roll music, right? <laughs> and if you do, you should listen to that record, man, because, you know, no matter if, uh, if it's like... If, what can I say, man? I love rock and roll music just as much as you do, I guess. And I like the record because it's it's an authentic rock and roll record. <laughs> there, there comes the yeah, kitten. Yeah, that's my kitten. Yeah. <laughs> she always makes an appearance. So, yeah. If you like rock and roll music, you should just check it out, man. I guess you, you'll you find a song or two that you would really like. Brilliant. So can you give me four words to describe the new roses? Four words? Yeah. Uh, kick ass. That's one word, okay? Yeah. Uh, authentic, you know, uh, like relaxed. We're funny, you know? Uh, that's three. And... Like trained, or experienced, and you know, we know what we do. Brilliant. So that's quick fire round, five questions, either or either. So the first one is vinyl or digital. You know, I have a lot of vinyl, but I I'm on tour most of the time, so I appreciate digital, but I love vinyl. Saint or sinner? Sinner. 
<laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> Festival or small intimate gig? In that order. <laughs> <laughs> so next one is Wacken or Oktoberfest? Wacken. Yeah. Definitely Wacken. I'm not an Oktoberfest guy at all. <laughs> okay. Bratwurst or beer? Beer. I'm vegan, so I, I choose beer of all meat. <laughs> cool. Brilliant. All right, mate. Well, thank you so much for your time and congratulate Thanks. you again on the album. Do you have any final words for your fans, our viewers and listeners? Man, we're so happy to be on tour. We're so happy to come to the UK soon. And you should check out our record because if you do, you might uh, you might enjoy the rock and roll party that we bring to your town uh, way more than without it. So listen to it and then show up, and we have a good we have a good time. I promise you. Comes to love